Hey friends, the gentleman to the left is Nathaniel Jeanson, a guy who went to all the trouble of getting a PhD from Harvard, only to use his diploma to lend some false authority to his young earth creationist beliefs. He is not a serious person. He is employed by Answers in Genesis and made a short video to answer the question, why 99% of scientists believe in evolution. He's going to fail. Let's listen to him. Why work so hard to keep creation science out? Okay, got to answer that one right away. We don't. We don't work hard. Creation science is so patently silly that we don't have to work very hard at all to keep it out of our classrooms. It's also so trivial that what would we do? A single semester is 15 weeks long with about 45 hours of lecture time. There isn't enough substance in creationism to fill that amount of time, while evolution is so data and concept rich that we can't cover it adequately in a multi-year program. Okay, so what is his answer? The answer is simple. Evolutionists must believe that scientists become evolutionists if that's what they're taught. Uh, well, sort of, yes. We teach students to evaluate the evidence and see the utility of sound, testable explanations. And then when we teach them about evolution, they will probably accept it. We also think that if you're properly taught about calculus or chemistry, they should accept mathematics or chemistry. So what is Jeanson's problem here? Does he think it's abnormal that students can learn? I see no other explanation for the evolutionists' behavior. Evolutionists must believe with all their heart that students adopt the position that they're taught. Okay, uh, what behavior? I teach the subject I'm trained to, to teach that I have long experience in studying. What other explanation does he need? As for the idea that students adopt the position they're taught, he's clearly never been a teacher. Students resist learning new ideas. Teaching is hard work on both the instructor's side and the student's side. And no, we don't expect students to accept as fact everything we tell them. They have to think. They have to think it through. And they have to test ideas against the evidence. In short, there's a simple explanation for why 99% of scientists reject my young earth creation position in favor of evolution. It's because evolution is all they're ever taught. Uh, okay, that, that claim falls with a loud clunk. A simpler explanation is that your young earth creationism is not accepted because it's bogus and unsupported by any useful, critical evidence. It's also not true that evolution is all they're taught. Most of my students were brought up Christian, have read at least bits and pieces of the, of the Bible, and are soaking in a credulous culture where Noah's Ark, for instance, is a familiar meme. Most scientists are entirely familiar with the mythology common in their society, and they've heard it all. It just doesn't hold up to critical scrutiny. Is this all you've got, Nathaniel? Accusing everyone who disagree with you of having been indoctrinated into dogma, while you yourself are employed at a business that demands unquestioning obedience to a statement of faith. Who's the dogmatist here? <laughs>